through Canvas ads. So let me ask you guys uh, who uses Canvas ads quite a bit, who uh, hasn't tried it yet, or who has no idea what I'm talking about. Just let me know in the comments. You haven't, not yet. Oh, great, Lisa, awesome. Lisa, what are you using them for? Kylie, real estate. Yeah, like property, right? To showcase property. So good. Um, tried it once. Boat. So does Boat everyone dumb. understand the difference between um, how Canvas is an on, on Facebook asset and not off Facebook asset? No. So, well, okay, so... <clears throat> So Facebook introduced Canvas because basically um, our website speeds are really bad. So that's either we haven't optimized our images at JavaScript or our server speeds are really slow or a whole range of reasons. So when you're dealing with global based businesses, there's a thing called a content display network, which is a seat called CDN for short. And those CDN is, is second to none on both Google and Facebook. So YouTube's actually got a really good one as well, which is Google. But essentially what they do is they host all the images and the files and the text and everything on Facebook servers, which are better than most people can afford anyway, unless you've got Amazon. And um, essentially what that means is there's this low, very low lag time between things loading on your mobile device or your, um, or your laptop. So essentially a canvas ad is, um, it's like looking at something that's already hosted on Facebook. So there's on Facebook based um, hosting and then there's off Facebook. So what they, it's basically replacing the need for a website itself. So they try to replace um, the main need for websites, which was lead forms. So they did that. And then they realized that people want a more an immersive experience with their own websites. So what they did is they said, okay, um, instead of using click funnels with all these groovy stuff, why don't we give you the ability to add videos, photos, a whole immersive experience. So they created the um, canvas um, based creative format. Now canvas creative format essentially can give you huge amount of power in a way of um, hosting stuff on Facebook. So the number one go to is, Thing for me when I have a client that's really difficult and I can't use their website, I go to Canvas. So I either go to Leads, lead form or Canvas. So if you can't use their website, you can see it's too slow, it's got navigation up top, it's not like a squeeze page, definitely get into Canvas. Mm. What are some other cool, so like real estate works really well. Um, you do a lot of fashion. Like what, what have you found the result with fashion e-commerce? Well, we um, Canvas for the flooring company was amazing. So um, essentially what we did is we loaded multiple products into the Canvas ad. So it was like a collections ad is now. However, we, we used to be able to do that before with Canvas anyway. So what you do is you create a Canvas ad and you could load lots of things and you could have a Canvas within Canvas. So you could load one story within another story into another story and it keeps you know, moving around between the canvas ads. Um, and yeah, so you can load flooring examples so you can have video. It's a very immersive experience and it's a full screen immersive experience on Facebook. There's, um, and, and cars would be really good with this. So those of you working in the automotive space, like cars are really great with this. There's a great Facebook group. I thought it was called Canvas Ad Examples. Do you remember what it's called, Tom? Or does uh, anyone? Yeah. I'll, I'll have a look while you um, Canvas Examples, maybe? There it is. Okay, so this Facebook group here is uh, just a, a total Facebook group just of people sharing yeah, so 37,000 people. It's not loading. I don't know why. But um, I, I highly recommend you guys, if you're interested in uh, creating Canvas ads, that you sign up to this group. It's just a whole bunch of people sharing examples of Canvas ads that have been done. Uh, so you can get some really, really great inspiration through that. Yeah. All right. So basically what Tom is saying is if you have clients and the website's really shitty, it loads, it takes a long time to load, 
or even if it's a concept that um, you want to explain a little bit more uh, in detail before you send them to possibly not the best looking landing page, Canvas ads are really great for that because they are an on Facebook experience. So they load right away. Um, they're seamless user experience and you sort of protect that flow, that UX flow. Um, really great for events. So when we were pitching Hawaii last year, when we were selling Hawaii, we were running Canvas ads um, to basically explain what, what the mastermind event was all about. And that works really, really well for us. Uh, fashion, um, cars, travel, hotels, restaurants. Can you imagine a restaurant showcasing all their dishes? Movies do really well with this. So you'll see in that Facebook group, there's a lot of um, new releases that come out of Hollywood. Their agencies run a lot of uh, canvas ads for that. So they'll have, you know, the trailer video and then you op you click on it, it opens up the canvas and it shows you a lot more information <coughs> behind the scenes. Type. Does someone just burp on the call? <laughs> I can't like I can't rem mute people because I'm on screen share. Okay, now there's a couple drawbacks about using a canvas, and I'm going to quickly show you how to go and create one. We're going to start over here, and uh, so when you select objectives, you can pretty much run every objective with the exception of uh, product catalog, lead generation, and I'm not too sure about these two. Are canvas or no canvas, Tom? Oh, yeah, you can do canvas and those. Those two? Okay, so lead, when you're running lead ads, unfortunately, you cannot run a canvas lead ad, which would be so amazing. Uh, and hopefully they roll that out well, soon. What you can do, though, I think you can link from the canvas to the lead ad, though. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Technique that a lot of people were using. Oh, so a bit of a it. hack? Mm. Yeah, so you got to remember, you can create links within a canvas ad to anything you want. So that link can be then sent through to another Canvas ad or something else. So, yeah, that's, that's one technique of doing it. Um, if anyone doesn't understand my accent, just tell me to slow down too. In the All right. You wouldn't normally see this. This is just a practice account, and I haven't added a payment thing. So normally this would take you straight through to your uh, – so I just selected – a traffic objective here, for example, we're sending traffic um, and then you're going to, you know, select your, your targeting, all of this good stuff. So we're just going to skip all through this. And then here's where you start to put together your canvas ad. So you guys would be very familiar with this, um, your carousel ad format, single image, video, slideshow, collection. Tom, do you want to tell us what you just told me earlier about this? The annoying yeah, thing. So, a collection ad essentially was um, built to do product catalog sales within a uh, top of funnel video view ads. So that's what a collections ad was, and everyone's having extreme success in um, top of funnel based conversion ads with a really high click through rate. Well, nearly, we nearly doubled our click through rate using those. So great way of doing it. So when you click on that um, in the in the US, though. They've actually, um, yeah, so you've got it as well, Kat. So essentially it creates a full stream canvas ad instantly. So um, on some of them, you, that doesn't use a canvas. Um, it, it is a canvas ad, however, you don't have to use these templates. So someone was just asking about um, templates. So as soon as you click on add full screen experience, uh, yeah, that's when you'll see all these templates come up and you can sell products. So there's, that's the answer about selling products on e-commerce. So get amongst the guys. It's really good. So this is kind of a new thing with, with canvas ads. For those of you that may have tried canvas a while ago is these templates that they now offer. So to select the canvas, you're basically selecting full screen experience, which is what a canvas is. So you just select this. And then um, you would um, basically choose one of your templates. So uh, these are pre-populated things. So let's just go and click on um, get new customers, for example, and play around with these different templates. 
And what you'll see here is it's almost like a wissy wet. Well, it's not a wissy wig at all, but it's very, very easy to edit. And it's very easy to sort of understand where to put your, your, your photos, especially when you're using one of the templates. So Facebook, you know, to replace one of the photos, you would just select this. Pick a, one of the photos that you've saved um, for the client. You can add text. You can have a button, link it to anything you want, as Tom said. And then uh, below here, we have a carousel ad. So, um, and then you've got some more text and then another button. And then when you can preview this on mobile. So one of the other things I just want to tell you is um, the other thing to be aware of is just like collection ad formats, canvas ads can only be run on mobile placements. So you can't run it on desktop. So just make sure that you uh, are aware of that because if desktop is really important or if, if there's any other placements that are really important to you, um, then uh, that might be a problem. So we can. So there's 75 percent of traffic from Facebook is mobile devices, so guys. So it's it's actually the main thing anyway. But that's correct. If you want to use desktop for anything, then yeah, it's a lot harder. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, this is using one of the templates, and so you can't really edit this one because uh, normally in the normal Canvas ad editor. You can sort of shift things around, um, move your images or your text to different areas. So this is using one of the templates. To access your, confirm, I don't know what I did there. Uh, and you'll see here, so before I move on to that, you'll see here that you can actually have front end. So the actual uh, front end of your ad could be a carousel, it could be a single image, it could be a video. So again, you would almost edit this the normal way. Uh, this is my ad. You'd have your canvas uh, carousel ad images. The difference being here that you'll see here, instead of it linking anywhere, so normally we have links. So we have carousel ads or single image ads that will link, we'll, we'll add a URL to link to somewhere. This is not linking to anywhere, it's actually linking to our canvas ads. Meaning when someone clicks this image or clicks this ad, it opens up that full screen experience. So it doesn't. Um, and um, just, just notice that that ad map with your page location, that's for any local store or local business. Really good for directional based ads. Um, so you can actually have where your actual store is located. So that's down below in that links area. Okay. Whereabouts, sir? Just there. Yeah, up, 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 up. Oh, right, right, right. App map. Okay, yeah. So just, yeah. You can actually add, you know, location-based maps so that people can find your store. So good, good for restaurants and in-store visits or someone was working with a surf shop where uh, they only sold in-store. So you can sort of check out. Oh, it's not going to let me scroll through. So essentially, and it's pulling the images as well now, yeah. So uh, I'm not going to save this because I didn't add payment information to this ad account yet. <laughs> so it's not going to let me. Uh, but essentially, what you can also do is under your publishing tools. So if we go under... Do, 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 do. And you can build these in uh, Creative Hub as well, uh, just the way that you normally would, and send them to clients for approval. So that's another option. So if I go on the page uh, for Cat Howl, and then under my publishing tools, this is where you can edit your, well, this is where you'd edit your lead forms. And this is also where you can see some of the canvas ads that you have. And you can also create your canvas ads here. When you, uh, correct me if I'm wrong here, Tom. Um, it used to be that when you saved a canvas ad, that was it. You can't edit it. Is that still the case or can we edit it now? No, you just have to uh, uh, update them after it goes from, uh, if you go back, you can see finalized 
uh, draft. So what it does, it finished. I think you can actually. Um, Woo! Swing, yeah. edit. There you go. Woo! Yeah. So this is Hawaii. So it used to be that once you saved a canvas ad, you were stuffed. Like you couldn't edit it, whereas now you can actually edit it. So that's pretty cool. So you'll see here, uh, this is a different type of editor, right, than what we were saying. So when you use one of those templates, uh, you couldn't really shift things around. If you go under the Facebook page under publishing tools, then you have a little bit more freedom around um, adding things, almost like a, it's not a wissy wig, but it's like a drop, like a click funnel style thing. So I can choose to add a photo. I can add another component of a text block. Um, I can rotate these so I can switch it around, name it, add buttons, all of that stuff. So if you want it to start from blank, that's an option as well. Um, if Facebook is giving you templates, uh, Facebook usually does a lot of split testing or it has, you know, a, a fairly good idea of the formatting and the styles that work. So if you're just getting started out, I would say like use one of their templates, right? It's just like when you're using ClickFunnels, ClickFunnels split test those landing pages like hell, right? They put a lot of money split testing that, making sure the templates work really well. So if you're just getting started out, you may as well use one of their templates and obviously edit the images and all of that stuff. Um, otherwise, you do have the option to drop and create your own Canvas ads. Now, one of the things I do want to say about Canvas ads, guys, is these things impress clients so much because they look so slick, right? They look like you've just built a website for them on Facebook. So... Um, but they're so easy to create, right? As you can tell here, it will literally take you half an hour to build one of these. Um, you just need all the assets, the collateral, the images, the videos, whatever that is. And you so can map, create, yeah. You can, you can map this out with your creative team or, or an actual creative. Um, so if you've got an agency that works with your creative agency, there it's an amazing sort of set of tools you can actually play around with. So in the carousel, you could have three images so a landscape image split into three, so half the images, you know, so that, that it forces people to scroll through. You can yeah, actually that's this one here, videos. right? Yeah. So you can so, have images where they have to tilt to see the whole thing and, yeah. Or they have to swipe to see what where the girl walks to. So mm -hmm. there was one where she was making, I don't know, a bed or something and she walked off the screen with a – and then you swipe left to – right to see what actually happens and then you can see the next scene and then you see the next scene so it's quite cool you can actually have flowing video um yeah pretty awesome stuff oh i was gonna actually show you but this is a desktop it wouldn't work anyways so they yeah. they don't work on desktop yeah um so so the yeah so guys get creative test out canvas ads for sure um especially for things like events or uh, luxury style products or restaurants as well. Can you imagine uh, someone, because a lot of restaurants have horrible websites, right? Someone clicking through and it's showing them all the dishes or the specials of the week, um, things like that. And they look so amazing that customers feel like they've just, they almost feel like they, um, they robbed you like they didn't pay enough, right? They're like customers are so impressed with canvas ads because they don't understand how easy it is to set up, but it looks so slick. It's like you built a website on Facebook. Um, in fact, we actually work with creative agencies right now who themselves don't even realize how easy it is to set up. And they're always like so impressed. They're like, Oh my God, this is amazing. How did you do this? And we're like, yes, it took so much work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was drop, drop and um, drop and whatever, click and drop, yeah. So this is a little bit more about uh, Canvas ads and how to use them. Highly recommend you guys test them out. Uh, it doesn't work always. Sometimes they, they're not the best option, but as with anything on Facebook, test it out, right? Test it out. It's always worth testing things out, especially if your client has a really horrible website, yeah. Okay.